Okay, this larger version over here is designed to be five inches wide here, so you should be able to get full-size sneakers on your feet and be able to strap yourself in with this little cinch there. So now we can bend down in our knees, we can stand upright, and we can lift ourselves up and walk like that. So the uh, see so you've got a two inch wide aluminum strip with two bolts holding it on the thigh and calf pads over here. So that makes that more comfortable. So still add padding, I'm going to say a good pair of pants underneath and a good fur coating on the outside to protect uh, any small children around you that you'll probably be performing amongst. So. And then when you're done, you just release the strap there, and you're out of it, and ready to change costumes. Let me point out one more thing. Down here, I've got an aluminum extruded plate down here with some fun foam padding, and it's 12 inches long, 6 inches wide, and that gives me a much more firm stance, because in this costume I'm wearing a mask and not able to see so well, so I wanted to have a very good footing. I didn't want to be uh, too badly encumbered or having to balance, but it's, uh, you see with that large footing there, that gives much better balance. That's why this stands by itself. I've got some bent up sheet metal that I bent just a sixteenth thick or uh, that might be 20 gauge there, so I wound up having to put one stronger steel plate across the top to stop it from bowing, see if it's have to uh, give it some practice or do your calculations to see how much weight you're going to be applying at any given point. So, but once again, two angle irons. This time I have a, a just simple pop rivets are holding it together. Left side and right side are bolted. I've got thicker 5 8 bolts uh, over here, shoulder bolts with a, a good uh, diameter to be able to last longer. And let's see, oh, and you might have noticed uh, if any, if one side of this breaks down, the other side is supposed to be strong enough to support my weight so that uh, if, for example, we lost uh, this uh, bolt right over here, the other side will let me continue performing. I'll definitely be able to feel the difference, but if the one side will hold me up long enough to finish the performance, then we consider it a success. So that's what we call one fault tolerant, so that you can still go on even if it's not as great as before. So.